Tony. So he spammed his elite bots from the bridge and this was quite an aggressive play guys. Here you can see that he Meanwhile Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today I will be playing some ladder matches with 2.6 Hawk Cycle. So let's directly jump into the match. And here I'm in the first match and we are up against Simeone. So he spammed his elite barbs from the bridge and this was quite an aggressive play guys. Here you can see that he's playing elite rage from the bridge and he is completely ignoring my hog on the right side and you can see that it is just shredding his tower away okay so musketeer is also locked on to his left side tower and here he placed his battle healer to stop this and i think this is a elixir golem deck so we are in a very good situation right now guys and we have got a very good early lead so he placed his electro from the back and i think we have to stop this dragon guys i will place my e spirit like this and i think musketeer will be doing a good cleanup i will place my ice golem over here and then i will be selecting my hog okay so let's wait guys i think musketeer will take out one elite and after that i will log it and i will distract it using my skellies Okay, nice. So now I'm going in with my hog as he don't have elite in his hand. And I will place my cannon for his elixir golem. Okay, let's wait for elixir. Okay, now we are going to place our cannon. We have to kite his battle healer onto the opposite lane so that he can't get any value. I will place my ice golem over here. So remember this placement, guys. You must know this to stop his battle healer. Okay, I think uh, his electro will get some damage, guys. I think it's going to get two chains. And he did got some damage, but uh, still we are in a very good situation. So we don't have to be worried. Okay, so he is again coming in from the back. On towards my weak side tower. And I think uh, our hog will get one shot, which will be great. So his right side tower is down and I will kite his elite using my ice golem. He used his arrows and I think we have to defend here guys. Okay, nice. He will get my, I think, uh, left side tower as I think I can't defend this from here. We have to stop his elite from getting any connection on the right side. And I think Ice Golem will be doing the job on the left. So GG's to him guys. I don't think he can come back from this. So he started very weirdly from the bridge. He directly came in with his elite and rage. So that was quite hilarious on his part. So here I'm in my next match. And this match is from Path of Legends. So he is just starting from the bridge with his uh, goblins. And I think uh, we can stop it using our E-Spirit. I will fireball his Electro. Nice. So this is a graveyard deck, guys. And I will be using my Log here. And I think his Electro will get one connection on our Cannon and Princess Tower. Overall, it was a good defense on our part. We can go in with our Hog and Ice Golem push. And I think he have uh, Nado. Okay, let's go in with our hog on the opposite lane. Okay, so let's wait. He played his archer. We have to stop that fire spirit from getting any connection. I will place my ice column over here like this to stop his archer from getting any connection. And I will use my skelly to distract his goblins. Okay, till now we are doing great, guys. I will fireball his electro. Fireballing Electro is a very good value along with Princess Tower. And I will place my cannon over here for his graveyard and night push. Okay. I think graveyard will get some damage, guys. Okay. Let's see if he have uh, poison or freeze. Okay. So he have poison, guys. So this guy is getting a lot of 
value out of that poison let's see what he is going to do he placed his furnace and hog will do the cleanup guys and i will be ready with my log but uh, i'm a little bit late so i will not place it i will distract his goblins using my skelly okay nice so we have musketeer for defense so i will place it from the back i think he don't have poison right now i will go in with my hog and here i will fireball guys to get some value okay nice nice fireball musketeer will take out his archer and i think musketeer will get the connection so he placed his goblins guys okay so let's go in with our hog so we don't have anything for his graveyard guys so let's use our log and let's put down our skelly to distract his knight okay so nice nice defense on the left side and we did got some damage on the right as well okay so so he is coming in with his knight uh, on the right side i don't know why he is switching lanes okay nice he did got some damage guys so we have hog in our hand let's go in with it and i know he is back to his furnace okay i think Ho hog will take out his furnace guys nice let's put down our musketeer over here and i will put down my electro spirit so he is coming in with his knight and ice golem sorry it's not ice golem knight and graveyard push once again and i think canon will do a good job on cleaning up the graveyard let's go in with our hog guys and i know hog will get some damage okay so he did able to cycle his furnace quite fast guys so let's cycle our hog as well i'm going in with my hog guys let's go i don't think he is going to put down his graveyard as he had just spent a lot on his defense so till now we are in a very good situation and we did got some lock chip as well okay let's put down our musketeer to clean up that furnace nice and i will be going in with my hog and i will fireball his archers oh my god he is giving me a lot of value he literally gave me i think uh, nine elixir on that fireball and that was a huge value for me i will be going in with my cannon for his uh, furnace sorry it's not furnace for his graveyard and i will fireball and finish the match guys so ggs to him guys i hope you guys are enjoying hit the like button so here i'm um, in the next match and i'm against kami so let's start with hog from the bridge let's see what he is playing okay so this deck looks similar okay our hog did got a lot of damage and here i will use my log on his archers and knight and it will also give me some chip on his princess tower so he is playing a knight balloon deck and let's see what he have for spell okay so we have hog in our hand but i will wait guys here i will put down my electro so he used his zap still our musky god one shot which is great we can go in with our hog guys as he don't have mini pekka in his hand so let's go in with our hog let's see what he is going to do so he placed his archer one more time and our hog will get two shots which is great okay here i will fireball at the bridge guys as we are getting a good value on that i will put my skelly so he also have pekka for tank guys so i will be placing my cannon over here for defense and let's see if he is going to play his balloon on the back of pekka or not so he did play his balloon so i will place my ice golem over here and i will fireball his wizard guys as wizard can be annoying and i think his balloon will get one connection it's okay guys we are still in a very good damage lead now i think we can go in with our hog as he have just spent a lot of elixir and our hog will get some damage okay nice i think it will get one more shot 
so his tower is down to 89 and uh, we just need one more fireball and uh, i think we can also cycle two logs to get the tower okay so let's put down our musketeer from the back and let's cycle our log okay nice I will fireball his wizard guys and then I will put my ice golem over here okay so he is coming in from the opposite lane so I will place my skelly to distract his millipeka and then I will be fireballing his balloon to stop it okay so it's last uh, I think 10 seconds of the match I don't think he can come back from this guys so GG's to him I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed it hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel as that will keep me motivated so see you in the next video guys and also comment down below guys what you guys want to see next and also which deck which you guys want me to play so see you in the next video guys bye bye take care and thanks for the support